Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a more an educational video. I know you guys love the more vlog style and I love doing those as well, but this is a common question that I get asked on all of my platforms is little tips on how to recover from workouts faster. So I thought if I have a video that I can just refer everyone back to, that will be nice and easy. So I'm gonna go through all of the things that I recommend. Some of them you might've heard of, some of them you might not have tried before, but hopefully you can implement them into your life and make your muscles a lot more happier and your mind more calmer and your body just feel better overall. So let's get straight into it. Warming up before every session is so important. I don't just mean light stretching. I believe we really need to get our bodies so warm to prevent injuries. I recommend the Stairmaster or a walk on the treadmill, skipping, and then some dynamic stretching, including leg swings hip circles and also include foam rolling which I'll speak a little bit more now. So number two tip is foam rolling. Foam rolling can be done before, after or any time of the day. It is always beneficial and something a lot of people don't incorporate. It can nearly be as good as a sports massage as it helps to reduce inflammation, scar tissue and joint stress. It also helps to get blood moving and increase blood flow. Can help with preventing injuries, decreasing recovery time, improve your range of motion, help loosen up knots, any type areas, especially our ITBs and quads. I do have a full foam rolling video explaining its flexibility and what are my favorite foam rolling moves. So I'll link that in the description box below. Number three, stretch after a workout is super important and most of us are guilty, even me, for not doing this. So I recommend trying to put away five to 10 minutes after each workout and anytime that you do have some spare 10 minutes, incorporate more stretching. Stretching post-workout will help with your stiffness and soreness, helps prevent lactic acid buildup, blood flow, flexibility, especially in our lower back. General overall posture, which we all need help with, reduces the injury and is great for overall muscle toning. So try to hold each stretch for about 30 to 60 seconds. Number four, protein after our workouts, and you can even drink branch chain amino acids during your workouts, which will also aid in a faster recovery. If you're wanting to build some nice lean muscle, it is super important to consume protein powder directly after your workout. Try and find a natural one. I love Happy Way, which I also have an ongoing discount code. I will link that below for you too. So why do I recommend having protein powder straight after workout rather than having actual food? You can have actual food. Protein powder isn't like a necessity, but real food takes a lot longer for your body to digest and absorb the protein and the food, whereas protein powder, the liquid form powder, it's broken down straight into your system and absorbed straight into your muscles. So I'll normally have a protein powder shake straight after my workout at the gym, then I'll go home and actually have breakfast. Next tip is lots of water, especially after a really sweaty session. After training, you definitely need to rehydrate. And remember, if we're not hydrated, your body just can't function at its highest level. And things like headaches and just not being able to think very clearly are a normal common result, which we obviously don't want. So water, water, water. There is a reason why every single health professional, whether it's on social media or someone you see, we bang on about water 24 seven because it is so important. Next tip is yoga. Yoga has been something that I've really struggled to get into consistently, but similar reasons to just stretching. I really love yoga for my mind resting time as well. When we are relaxed, our body goes into rest and digest. It's great for our bodies, our digestive system, and obviously flexibility and overall health. Everyone can benefit from yoga. I really recommend trying to do at least one yoga session a week. And there is yoga sessions in my squad app, which I will link below for you as well. Next tip is saunas. This is not a must, but I really do like adding this into my weekly routine. Overall, I believe it helps with increased circulation, which is amazing for our skin, so healthy skin, relaxes your muscles, soothes all your aches and pains, and it's really good for your muscles and joints. I think it helps with stress, and studies have shown that if you do go to a sauna, you'll have a deep sleep that night, which is always great. My next tip, I am just obsessed with hot baths at the moment. Sammy messaged me the other day, and she was like, I don't have a hot bath, I wish I did. Or she doesn't have a bath to have a hot bath, should I say. Something about heat that I just find so relaxing and so healing for your muscles. I love a hot bath with Epsom salts, or this soap that I'm using using from Hideaway, which I'll link below, as it's seriously a game changer for sore muscles and just relaxing your body. It's infused with lavender, rose, and magnesium to really get the most out of a recovery bath session. Up next, magnesium. Have this before bed. It can come in a cream form, a powder form, or in tablets. Magnesium is great for so many things. It helps the absorption of other vitamins. It helps with a deeper sleep, muscle recovery, and I know most of my followers are women. It will decrease a lot of your PMS symptoms, which that 
time of the month sucks, but when you have magnesium, I even double my dose a week before my period, it will help eliminate a lot of those or at least lessen them. I love the Bioceuticals brand and also my Ashley Bynes Recovery Squad Sup that was formulated by Levi, who is a qualified nutritionist and naturopath and the one person I like 110% trust when it comes to my health. I will link the range of subs that I love below. You can find many at health food stores in creams, powders, or capsules, but just so find one that works for you and that you can have consistently. I know some people don't like taking capsules, so you can find a nice cream or a liquid that is like flavored with orange or lemon lime makes it a bit easier. Up next, rest. As I mentioned a lot in this video, rest is super important for our overall body goals, preventing injuries and giving our mind and muscles a chance to recover. So when we do go to training, we can perform at 110% and as well as preventing injuries because injuries, as I hurt my neck last week, if you've been following me on Snapchat, I hurt my neck about a week and a half ago and it's been torture not being able to train. Last but not least, massage. I know this isn't something that everyone can do, but it is so good for you. Apart from it feeling amazing and really relaxing your mind and body, it does help with a faster recovery, really sore muscles, injury prevention once again, better sleep. I sleep so good after a massage. And it can help with back pain, neck pain. It can break down your scar tissue, increase joint mobility, as well as an amazing overall for your circulation. I just wanted to stress the importance of recovery and looking after your body. So even if you're not doing all of these tips, if you can try to just incorporate a couple more into your weekly routine, you'll find overall your results will be better. You'll feel so much better and you want to be preventing injuries as much as you can. This neck injury is the first proper injury that I think I've ever had. I've always kind of had a bad knee from my dancing days back in the day. But an actual injury, I feel like I haven't had one before. So it's really made me appreciate my body and appreciate training. I already love training, but not being able to train, oh, you don't want that. So look after your body, rest, recover when you need, sometimes less is more. So I hope you girls enjoyed this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. At the moment, I'm uploading every Monday night and Thursday night, and that seems to be working well. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.